Hey there, this is a video on how to display your image on your MacBook Pro onto your HD TV. It's done with Apple TV and AirParrot. AirParrot's $9.99 and it's from the website you see right there on, on the screen. You can get, I think, five licenses for five different computers for $29.99, I believe is the price. Um, this is I have another video that shows you how to display your laptop onto or your MacBook Pro onto your HDTV with a mini display port adapter. You know, with in other words, you have to use an HDMI cable to do that, which is this right here. You know, but anyway, this is done wirelessly with Apple TV and AirParrot. Okay, what you do is you and here's my HDTV, which you're going to see a lot of echo in because. It's a 55 inch. You'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, um, you download AirParrot, install it, and go to your. I'm trying to do this here. Go to your. Turn on your Apple TV once you get it installed. As you can see, mine's coming on here any second. There's mine. It's on my. HD TV as you can see okay I'm gonna enable let me get a little closer I'm gonna enable air parrot and you're gonna see that image go on to the HD TV any of your apps anything that's on your MacBook Pro can be displayed on your HD TV wirelessly doing the, doing it this way okay let me get a little closer where you can see what I'm doing here uh, first, let me back up. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to minimize this and get it out of the way. I'm trying to grab the iMac mouse like an idiot and do it. But anyway, here you go. As you see, there's AirParrot. Once you click on it, you're going to notice the AirParrot Air Parrot icon show up right there. Well, that's how you're going to have to. Um, oh, sorry, hit the camera. That's how you're going to have to activate it. Activate it. Can't talk today. Um, you go up here, put your mouse cursor on it, and you have to click right there on Apple TV. Now, once you do that, let me go over here and so I can turn the camera and put it back on where you can see it. I'm switching back and forth between display so I can see what I'm videoing on the HD TV. So I have to put it back to the right setting where you can see. As you can see, there is the HDTV, and there is the iMac right there. So what you see on there is what you see on here. Now you're going to notice that it's not totally full screen. I don't know if you can see that in this video or not, but you can see like right here, there's space on each side that uh, it's not filling up on the screen. Well, with the iMac, it fills the whole screen up, so for some reason the MacBook Pro doesn't, but I'm going to show you how to get the maximum screen on your LCTV that you can get. Let me walk over here and put it back on the Mac, and I'm also changing back to my big screen so I can see what I'm doing better than on this little bitty camera screen. Um, to get your full possible screen that you can get on your HDTV, here, let's go. I oh, know I got a lot of crazy stuff on my desktop here. You go right here and you go to preferences. This will also transfer audio. The old Air Parrot did not, the new one does. But see where it says under scan? You move that all the way to zero and that will give you the maximum full screen size you can have further down you move it the smaller your image is going to be on your HD TV video quality you want that high I'm sure it may be more laggy it's according to your Wi-Fi connection and frame rates may make it laggy too so you, you just need to experiment with that and see what works best for you but um here I'm gonna put this on the TV and show you I have to do my switching back it takes a second I'm getting back to the image on the big screen. So 
soon as it pops back up there. Okay, now I'm moving, as you can see, here, let me, I'm going to zoom in on that. Sorry. Um, if I move this, see it's kind of laggy right there as it is. If I move that all the way there, I don't know if you can see it, but see how small the image got on the screen? Here, I'll, I'll move it back and a little at a time you can see how it gets bigger. Move it some more, more, and then we'll move it all the way down. So as you can see, the underscan needs to be at zero for the largest possible screen on your HD TV. I also did a video for the iMac, which is basically the same exact thing. I just know some of you don't want to watch an iMac video because you have a MacBook Pro, you know, you have your preferences and you just, you know, you want to watch whatever you want to watch. So I just made one for each. Um, it's really easy. Just turn your Apple TV on, download Air Parrot, and um, install it can't get much easier than that. Um, like I say, the new Air Parrot will transfer sound and it's only $9.99 for one computer, like you can use it on your MacBook Pro for $9.99. If you want it on multiple computers, you can pay $9.99 for each or $29.99 for five, which, you know, that's going to be the deal for me. I believe you can do this on your PC as well. I haven't read into it that much, but I thought I read that. But anyway, um, that's how easy it is and you just have to remember to go up here when you click on your Par air parrot app it's nothing pops up there except for this little icon right there the air parrot icon will you make sure you have apple tv checked so it will display on your hd tv and you can experiment with the displays there see which one best fits you which one's the clear and um audio you may have to start the audio start the audio when you first go to this menu I had to do it on both of mine once you start it it'll work and that's pretty much it and I appreciate you watching please click like if you like please subscribe that always helps me and if you will uh, retweet this video or put it on your Facebook anything that would help me get the views I'd really appreciate it and leave comments if there's anything I can help you with appreciate it Basically, anything that you watch on your MacBook Pro or iMac, according to whichever one you're doing this with, you can see on your HD TV. I will click on something here just to show you. Let's see, I'll click on iMovie. But I've got to move the camera where you can see. See, there it is on the MacBook. And there you can see it's on the HD TV. See, just so you can get an idea how big this is, here's my hands, and this is the HD TV. As you can see, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna get over here and click on something else, like all your your apps. get out of that. Applications. Let's say you wanted to play Angry Birds. I'm going to turn the sound down. There you go. Angry Birds on your HD TV. As you can see the sound does work but I'm going to turn it down. There it is on the HD TV. There it is on the iMac. I mean, I'm sorry, MacBook Pro. Confused. Nothing new. Um, anyway, it's great for watching YouTube videos, up, videos on. Great for any of your apps. I'm going to get out of that. Try one more here. Let's see. As you know, the web here. Here's the web, which you can browse the web and 
of course, if you have an Apple TV, you're used to this anyway, but you've got the full look of your computer versus the Apple TV setup, the way it looks. So if you'd rather, um, you know, see if it'll, yeah, see you can make it big just like you can with the pinch and zoom features in your trackpad. Trying to click on my channel. See, there's my YouTube channel, which y'all need to subscribe to. I'd appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. Anything that you want on your MacBook Pro can be on your HDTV. It's pretty cool. And for $9.99 for AirParrot, you can't beat it. I mean, that's a pretty good price. I appreciate y'all watching.